We've seen a lot of the superhero genre conflicted because they have to keep their identity secret. It's true. I wanted to see something that was fantastical, it was still set and grounded in a reality that people can relate to. Woo! Spring break! It's about a guy named Marcelo Chavez, but he goes by cello. You play too damn much. That's why you haven't had a job in two years. What? Who discovers that he may or may not have superpowers. And these superpowers seem to be based around activities in his life that maybe he's uh, not proudest of. <sighs> Smoking weed, drinking, and doing drugs. He gets uh, involved in a pharmaceutical trial. Unbeknownst to him, the trial was hijacked by a mad scientist. Played by me, who has been secretly injecting a serum. And the serum has turned him into a superhero. It creates a whole conflict, because it only works when he's drunk or high. <laughs> Oh, it's called High and Mighty. That's a pun, because he's high and then it gets mighty. Tells you half the story before you even tuned in. Early on, when we were thinking about directors, I remember the last music video I really liked was Thundercats, Them Changes, and it was Carlos Lopez Estrada. Every day on set, it was completely different. Action sequences and fight sequences and effect sequences and stunt sequences. It's rare to find somebody with commitment to the vision. When I read the script, I knew that the man playing cello is gonna have to be someone who possessed a lot of different talents, and I wasn't sure we were gonna be able to find him because I didn't know this person existed. Cello is not ready for his powers, and he's not in a place where he's gonna use them responsibly. I'm a big fan of old-timey cartoons, so I like the idea of a devil and an angel on a guy's shoulder. Hugo's gotten out of jail now. He is completely reformed and completely religious. I'm gonna use these powers for good, help people. Trying to keep Pat out of trouble, too. Yo, Pat! Because he's another one. You got any weed? Pimpin' Ass Pat is definitely the devil's advocate. So your powers are just straight up gone, I guess. Yeah. Ah! Angie has her stuff together. She has a job, she has a car, she got her associates. Hey, I'm turning over hella new leaves for you. I'm gonna get this job, I'm gonna be sober. They've been dating for a long time. And the thing I love about that relationship is that Angie represents Cello's heart. You think I'm the only one that's been worried? You've heard us begging you to stop, you just don't care. And how it affects those people that you love and love you. You have a problem with drugs and alcohol, stupid. I have a little bit of a tougher relationship with him because I'm kind of fed up with his crap already. She's like always been Chelo's older sister when she's really his younger sister. They all delivered fabulously. I think they're all great, especially in a comedy. Caesar has a big heart, and it's so apparent in the script. When I was your age, I was just like you. Short, fat, and ow! I just wanted to center a world where you could be dying laughing one second, and the next second it gets very, very real. Those are the best comedies. The ones that are about everyday struggles are the ones that we really remember the most. Every single person who came onto this, I thank you all so much. You're all amazing. That's a wrap! Ah!